Hey, you guys, it's Mrs. Alexander, and today we're doing Engagement in Europe, Module 1, Lesson 7. And the objective of this lesson is to round multi-digit numbers to the thousands place. Now, if you're doing the Engagement in Europe, it's also telling you to use a vertical line. I'm just going to show you how to round right now. It says round to the nearest thousands. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight my thousand. And remember, as we practice our place value, we should know where that is. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So now I'm going to highlight my thousands. I'm going to do three of these with you so that you can see, and then you will have three more by yourself. So if you notice, I'm just highlighting the thousands place because that's what it said, nearest thousand. See that? <coughs> So here, what does the seven till the six to do? Okay, you might not know this and that's okay. We're gonna practice. So the rule of the thumb that I like to go with is four or less, let it rest, five or more, raise the score. Now, I did get this from a song um, on from YouTube that I found called We Will Round You. So five or less, let it rest. I'm sorry, four or less, let it rest. Five or more, raise the score. Okay. So now I'm looking at the seven. Does a seven tell the six to raise or just stay by itself? Yes, you guys are right. It tells it to raise. So right here, I put a seven. I put the comma. And then see every number behind it? I put zeros in its place. So I need three zeros. So let's try this again. We have this one. So I'm looking at this number. So this one, we looked at this number. This one, we're going to look at this number. See this? And now we get a figure, does that three want the nine to rest or does the three want to raise the score? Yes, let it rest. So I'll put my nine down with the comma and remember I put zeros in its place. So every number, the three, the four, it all becomes zero. So I'm gonna put zeros in its place. As I said, I'll do one more. Do you see the six? I got to look at the number next to the six on the right, you guys. So here it goes. Does a four want the six to raise its score? <laughs> or is the four saying six? Let's rest. Great job. You're right. It is saying let's rest. So I have the six. It's resting. But remember, there's a number in front of the six, and we didn't touch that. So we're going to go ahead and write our one six because the one before the six has to come along. Everything to the right of the six, we replace it with zeros. So one, two, three. Remember, I have three more for you guys to practice and keep doing a great job. Let's bounce down here to a, yes, a word problem. It's important that we practice these so that we understand. So let's read. Mrs. Smith's class is learning about healthy eating habits. The students learn that the average child should consume about 12,000 calories each week. So does it matter about this first sentence, you guys? No, it's nice to know, but does it have anything to do with anything? No. So Carrie consumed 12,748 calories last week. Tyler consumed 11,702 calories last week. Round to the nearest thousand to find who consumed closer to the recommended number of calories. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this one because we know the calories was 12,000 a week. So I'm going to come right down here. I'm going to write Carrie. What did she consume? She consumed, so right here is really important too. If you notice, I'm gonna highlight everything I think is important 
so that I remember and I see it because we're trying to figure out who consumed the closest. So we'll say Carrie. Okay, I'm just gonna use an equal sign. Actually, I'm gonna do my three dots. And then she consumed 12,748 calories, right? And I've not figured out how to do the wavy equal sign because it means about equal to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the regular equal sign and know that it's not an exact number. So it said I have to round, see if round to the thousands. See that? So I'm gonna highlight my two right here for carry. And now I have to go to the seven. Is a seven asking the two to raise its score or let it rest? Okay, not too sure. Let's go back up top and look at our numbers. Four or less, let it rest. Five or more, raise the score. Right, seven saying, hey, raise the score. So my one comes over because we didn't affect that. And my two gets raised. It gets raised too? Yes. And then put zeros in its sight. So I put three zeros. That's Carrie. Now it's time to do Tyler. And we're doing the exact same thing. We're trying to see who got the closest. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my number here. Okay. So set uh, the seven, is it asking the one to raise its score or let it rest? Yes, raise the score. So I'll put the one down. My one becomes a two, great job. And zero's in its sight. So who? came closer to the recommended um, uh, 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 calories for the week. Yes. So right here, we will write Tyler. Consume. Oh, consume. Closer to the recommended number of calories, that is what we're looking for. And if you notice, I have the work underneath this, so it shows it. And the one thing I did miss that would have been nice to know without me just kind of guessing, round to the nearest thousand, I need to make sure I read the entire problem through before I start working it. So remember while you're doing this, just smile, giggle, and wiggle, and have fun with it. Talk to you later. Bye.